Hi, welcome back to take two of Feel the Heat. Yeah, Feel the Heat at Take Home Tuesday. No, we went live a little bit earlier, had a little technical difficulty. So we're trying yeah. again, and we're going to see if you can hear us better this time and see how it sounds that way. So we are at Hen and Chick Studio here in Conrad, Iowa, and we're going to do a little test to make sure our sound is okay. So we're going to ask if, Stephanie, are you, can you hear Oh, well, she's trying to find it. So give us a thumbs up if you can hear, maybe. You know, technology yeah. is great, but every once in a while it throws us a little um, curveball or action. But, you know, yeah. it gave us a dress rehearsal. Because mm -hmm. earlier today when we were doing a Take Home Tuesday and we were um, having some fun trying to figure stuff out, we learned some stuff that we can share with you about what we learned. And so sometimes the second time is better than the first time. Yes. And if at first you don't succeed... Try try, try, try again. again. There you go. So, welcome back to Hen and Chick Studio here in Conrad, Iowa, right in the heart of the state of Iowa. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day. The sun is shining. It looks like it'd be a great day to go out and get a suntan, but it's still a little chilly. Oh. Yeah. So, our Take Home Tuesday today is about um, something that has some flame or some heat to it. And yes. I can hear sound, so I think that you have sound better this time. So hopefully you can follow us along. Okay, so our project today, every Tuesday at Take Home Tuesday, we, well not every Tuesday, but some Tuesdays, we try to do something to inspire you with something creative, not necessarily with fabric, because there's all sorts of things. This is my niece, Hattie. Every once in a while she gets to come up. She likes to work in the store, actually. Yeah, yeah, you like to be a helper. Uh, she loves to fold fat quarters sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> she helps us clean, or she went to the post office and got the mail. Uh, but she gets two weeks of spring break. This is your last two-weeker, though, right? You yes. got a normal school schedule next year because you're getting yeah. bigger. But Hattie's been on some previous Take Home Tuesday episodes, and we were trying to think, what's some previous things that we've done, that you've done while you're here? Pumpkin with, like a pumpkin with the... Jar lids. Yeah, the jar yes. rings, like for canning rings. Yeah. yeah. The pumpkins, we wrapped fabric around those. Those were super cute. The chunky monkey smoothie. Oh, yeah, that was good. The bubble. Yeah, the bubbles. Bubble blowers. <laughs> all of those episodes. Okay, <laughs> yeah, there's been a couple other times. Maybe you've been here. I can't remember. But all of those previous episodes are anything that we've oh, done. Yeah, the painting rock. Oh, painting rocks. That, that was, was my fun. first one. <laughs> Actually, we did that at Grandma's house with everybody, and then we yeah. brought it here, so that was fun, that too. That was my first ever. Okay. Um, they are found on our uh, website, henandchickstudio.com, under the Inspiration tab on Take Home Tuesday. <laughs> there is a lot of video in there now, which is quite, is. quite numerous, and I'm sure always entertainment. But if you're looking for something to do, because we know several of you might be on spring break with a niece or nephew, neighbors, grandkids, something like that with a project that's fun to do. Um, they're, so they're on our Inspiration tab or YouTube, Hen and Chick Studio at YouTube. You can find them there as well as Facebook. So as always, we hope we find something that brings you not only a smile, but maybe something fun to do, right? Okay, so yes. today's project, Hattie's going to tell us what do we need to do today's project. Okay. So we need a 4x4 four four tile or so. Um, Alcohol in a spray can. Why, and tell them what they need for the alcohol. They need about 90 or 91 percent alcohol because we found out that 50 and 70 don't really work that mm -hmm. good. Yep. Um, aluminum foil, cardboard to keep from getting all the alcohol everywhere, a lighter, mm -hmm. sharpies or markers. Well, have to be sharpie, some sort of yeah, permanent sharpies. markers. Yep. Some sort. Of. And an old. And then an old box with all aluminum foil. Which she's already done that step, and she yes. did her job nicely and aligned our box to be safe with aluminum foil that would keep any flames from getting anywhere if it would. But it doesn't yes. actually burn hot when we did it because we were doing mm. it early and it didn't burn hot. Okay. And when you pick them up they won't feel hot at all. Yeah, it's really interesting. So we did learn some stuff while we are doing it. Hattie's already working on her, so you keep going with it. So yeah. we learned some interesting things as we were going with it. Not all out rubbing alcohols are created equally, as Hattie said. You do want a spray bottle. We just used an empty cleaner spray bottle that we washed out and put some alcohol in. So we'll have to remember that when we go to clean something out. We'll put a label on it. Uh, but 
it when it when we didn't have the ninety one alcohol, it didn't quite do the blending effect that we did. So as Hattie's doing right now, we do, first thing you're going to do is you're just going to color your tile. What we did find a little bit with, tell them a little bit about the colors that. Um, dark ones probably work better than light, but really any color would be perfect mm -hmm. for it. And you can do it by, um, and the thing that we learned too, it, because if you make a design, like a specific design, it's not going to turn out as a specific, yeah. ugh, a specific design, right? Yes. So as you notice, like on mine, I'm pretty much just kind of like scribbling lines and colors together. Because ultimately we're going to be blending these together and it's going to be kind of cool. No two will ever turn out the same. Okay, so we're just taking the markers and blending them. Hattie's doing highly concentrated colors on hers. I have no idea what I'm doing on mine except for just putting color on. <laughs> Again, you can't do wrong, so that's good. Those of you who say you have no talent or creativeness in you, okay, this isn't even creative. You're just coloring. Um, also, if you get it done and you don't like it, we discovered this too because we did this once. We didn't like what we did. What did we do? You can take like a paper towel and just start wiping it off. Yep, we just sprayed a little bit more alcohol on it and wiped mm -hmm. it off and started all over. So if you mess up or you think you mess up or you don't like it, you can always go back and start to do it again. But concentrated color, I think, is part of the key to it, right? Yes. So getting enough color on it. The other thing that we did learn, well, something else we learned, so, it, you know, you can always learn something no matter what you're doing, right, is if you put too much rubbing alcohol on it, it, can, it makes it not burn off as well. So if you sprayed too much. Oh, she must have decided she didn't want that color. Is that what you did? Yeah. Yeah. She didn't want that yellow color in there. Okay. So while she's working on hers, I'm going to come around and uh, bring the video down and show you the next step so you can kind of see it better. Because well, I, I don't know if you will be able to see the flame if we don't come on this side. Okay, Maddie's still working away on hers. And then if you put on the alcohol, you can use a straw or just like move it around or use even your own breath and you just blow the alcohol around to make it all mixed together. And hopefully, Hattie, will you get enough on yours that maybe you can show that to them? Yeah. Okay, you work on that. So here's the one I just literally scribbled on. Okay, so I'm going to get the camera back down to there. Sorry if it's moving a lot, but you guys will get the feel of it. This round. And we know we do have the mic, and we apologize if there's some extra noise with it, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Okay, so I've literally just scribbled on this tile. A um, couple different things we've learned as well. I'm just gonna um, take my spray bottle and I'm just letting it kind of dab like dots on it. And then you can watch it start to blend together here. It's kind of cool. You could, if you had something different, you could let it, um, you could do a bigger spray like that on it. But see how it starts to blend together? We earlier did try it with a timer and we set a timer and let it go for five minutes and it was kind of cool what it did. But you can see where the dots are and it starts to blend together. If you wanted it to blend together more or faster, like Hattie said, you could take a straw and blow on it, and she's about ready to get to that step to show it to you. I kind of like how mine just blended. I'm gonna put a little bit more there because I didn't like those dots. How it's naturally blending together like that. It's looking kind of cool. Look at this one, Hattie. Yeah, and it's just like kind of like tie-dye, but coaster instead. Yeah, it's kind of like tie-dyeing on a coaster. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do here, Hattie, do you want to hand me the box while you're finishing? Yep. She's getting ready. So she has her handy-dandy aluminum foil box. We're going to put it in here because safety first, right? And you want a different box that, um, that does not have any alcohol on it, so then the alcohol on that doesn't... Um, doesn't like burn the whole cardboard yeah. thing down because if, if what would happen if you maybe sprayed it, your alcohol on the cardboard and then put the lighter on it the cardboard might ca catch on fire and then okay and this is really cool because the more it's doing it the more it's blending together so you yeah. could let it go as long as you want or you could do it sooner so now where's the this is the cool part we love doing this now we're going to do light it on fire and again, safety first. And actually, it doesn't even feel hot. A little heat, but not too much. But look, it's burning the alcohol off. So no matter what design you have, you don't know how the flame is going to burn. 
but it's burning all the alcohol off of it. Oh, this one's turning out really cool, Hattie. Look at that, that one. Cool. And then if there's any extra alcohol, this one actually burned really well. We're getting good at this. Maybe we could make a career. Maybe we could make this. Yeah. Uh, all of the alcohol burned top on that one. Okay, are you about ready with yours? Oh, so yes. after this, if there was alcohol that was still left, where it was wet, we just light it again while it's in this box, because safety first, right? Um, we also had another idea on these, and Hattie did it before. I'm gonna show you a couple that we've already done. This is one we did earlier, where we kind of dabbed it, and then we lighted this one, or lit this one quicker. We didn't let them quite blend as much, but that's cool. And then we did, there's another one. This is, is this one I did? Yeah, that's the one you did. Mine oh, yeah. are over here. Okay, so Hattie has some that she did, but then Hattie had an idea. This, um, so you can just, um, after it does it, you can just put on like a quote or anything you want to do, like joy, have more kindness in the world. If you make a mistake, try, try again. <laughs> Perfect for us today, yeah. right? Yeah. So this one was actually one that we wiped a lot off of it, right? Yes. We didn't like how it was looking, so we wiped a lot off of it, and then we went back to it. We're like, wait a second, let's see what it looks like after we wipe some off and lit it on fire. And we liked how it was kind of white and then the edges mm -hmm. were darker. So again, it wasn't a mistake. It was just a creative opportunity. And then this is, she put a quote from one of her school projects that she liked on it. Okay. And then this is my other one that we did last time. Yep. So you can see how they all turn out different. Now bring that one over. Let's see if we can get you, are you about ready? So you can show oh, them how to blow on that one. Oh, okay. I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to go back to head. And it's not even hot when you touch it now. So the other thing that you would want to do after that is you would want to spray it. If you want to write a quote on it or whatever, you want to spray it with um, some sort of polyurethane. And then we're going to put felt on the back of it. So super simple. But we're just going to put like, actually, we're going to cheat and put felt dots on it. Okay, so let me get this up and see if we can get Hattie here. One more time. Camera movement. We're... Someday we'll have a high budget for these needs, right? Okay, Hattie's getting close to being ready for hers. Let me move this a little bit so you can see. All right, Hattie, you about ready? Almost. So you can see she's very concentrated on her coloring, and she's concentrating very hard on getting it all colored. And then she has her cardboard down so that nothing gets dirty or no alcohol. And then you spray. And I like to just do the spray. Oh, that, that looks kind of cool right now. And then you take... Um, so you could burn it right now if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. But and you get then, more dots. But you want to blend... You like to blend it more. She likes doing this. So she's... What are you doing? You're taking your straw. I like to blow on it and make a really cool, like, tie-dye design. More so whoa, look at that so you can see when the alcohol hits it especially when it's the 91 percent we did try also um hand sanitizer because we were experimenting and the hand sanitizer would kind of do it oh that's looking cool but it would not but it didn't like we had to like lay it put the tile up like this and let it slide down so we decided we didn't like that as well so this 91 is really the best on it the 70 kind of worked but not as well but she's getting some coolness going with that. So hopefully you can see what she's doing. Okay, you ready? Yep. Can get it in there. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me get the camera back down. See if we can. Okay. okay. You ready? Mm hmm. the fun part of it yeah we love watching it oh and you can see on hers here let me see if I can pull back just a little bit so she, you're gonna have some wet spots there so go ahead yeah. and relight your wet spots on the edges and she's trying to do this from the side so it's kind of hard to reach in there now it's going there's one yep. see more wet spots so anything that's wet around the edges like you can just kind of go back and touch up if you need to Oh, yeah. And then you just go around. Mm -hmm. Around the place and just check I it. I think you're getting most of it gone. 
Okay, then we're going to let that sit for a little while. Are you going to go back and write something on it? Probably, I don't know. Hold that up a little bit. Yeah, okay. See, isn't that cool? Oh, I like how that one turned out. And then you can see just like a little more wet spots. Yeah, but and you, if you let it sit, it would eventually dry, or you can put it back in there as you want to put back in there and light those edges again. You can do that too on the far side. On the far side. That's a comic strip. You probably don't even know that. So you're just going over the top of it there, making sure you get all the wet spots. Eventually it will come dry itself, but of course it makes a different effect when you're adding the flame to it. Okay, very good. All right, so Hattie, hmm. we're gonna see what, what would be your greatest tip that you would tell them today if they were to do something? If you make a mistake, just try, try again. Yeah, and wipe it off. You, even if we didn't like this one, we could spray it and literally wipe, wipe it, it off and start again. That's the beauty of making something. So, as always, we hope that we inspired you to do something creative today. Um, do something that makes you happy or makes somebody else smile, right? Yes. Yes. All right. And so, until um, next time, we hope whatever you're doing today that you choose to do something that's creative. And most importantly, smile and be happy. happy. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yep. All right. We'll see you later. Um, and I don't know. Is there anything else when you say? Probably not. Thank you for tuning in, right? And we'll see you next time. Enjoy.